Odds Checker for another episode of Sharps Bets Today. I'm here with Matt and Slop, and we're going to go over today's basketball slate. Are you guys ready? No football picks yet. So let's kick it off. We'll start with college basketball, where we head to Kentucky with Matt. Well, Texas A&M, right? Yes, yes, we're gonna we're gonna take Texas A and M tonight, guys. Uh, plus the eight, uh, the line has actually dropped a little bit since then, seven and a half, even seven some places. But there's uh, fifteen and two on the season, guys, and I think it's just too many points at home. Uh, I like this team a lot. They've been playing good basketball on a uh, six game win streak, so looking to keep it up tonight. Kentucky, they have been a little inconsistent away from home, including a loss to Notre Dame. I think A and M's a much better team, so I'm gonna take the points here, guys. A conference game. I'll take it. I'm going to sprinkle the money line, feeling a little dangerous there, uh, getting a nice little boost on the money line. But I think they cover this eight fairly easily at home. Okay, Matt. Always feeling a little dangerous with that money oh. line situation. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also know you have a bet going for the NGIT game. Yes. Yeah, this this one, you, you got to uh, really look for this team like we were talking about before. Not <laughs> Going to know who NGIT is because they suck at basketball. But tonight, they're going to be good enough to cover the first half. Uh, they're just a team I, I've weirdly had success on betting them first half. They're getting seven and a half here against Vermont. Uh, there's no stat, so I'm not even going to pretend there's a stat that's going to back this up. But they're going to get it done for us tonight. I think seven and a half, it's a lot at home. They, the one thing is, is they play both of these teams uh, slow enough paces. So limited possessions first half. Uh, I think it's a big number to cover in like 20 minutes. You can stay within eight points, right, in 20 minutes. It's, it can't be that hard. I think they'll get it done. Well, it feels right. It just feels right. Okay. And then besides college basketball, I know you guys had a few NBA picks to give away today. How about we start with Slop in Boston? I'm going to go Dennis Schroeder. Marcus Smart's out again. Schroeder <laughs> over 14 and a half points. He's done this in both of his last two games. They've already played the Hornets once. He put up like 23 against them that time. The Hornets play fast, so the Celtics will definitely try to keep pace. I mean, so we might see a few extra possessions there. But Schroeder's not afraid to shoot. I mean, they, they need a third scorer on that team anyway, so he fits perfectly. If you want, you could YOLO this a little bit and go 20-plus at plus 310 at FanDuel. That's not that crazy. He's done this in – Two of his last four games, and again, he did it against the Hornets uh, already earlier this season. So it's not that crazy. I think I might do it. I don't know. I'll put it on Twitter if I do. Okay. Well, with we that to. being said, we do have one favorite pick for today's game, right? For today's slate, rather. Mm -hmm. We're headed to Atlanta, where the Hawks are at home. They mm -hmm. have been on a losing streak for a while at home, if I'm not mistaken, and just – won their last game breaking the streak, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I forget the exact number, but they were ice cold at home. Uh, so, but uh, on Monday, they, they got it done against the Bucks. So I think it's a, a big win for them momentum-wise. I like the Hawks a lot as a team, so I think this is going to be the time of the year you start backing them. They have a little bit of a home stretch here, uh, play three in a row at home, and then again they'll go home for like five or four or five in a row. So they're going to get a lot of time back in Atlanta where they typically play good basketball just this year. They haven't so far. But Timberwolves – uh, on a back-to-back -back tonight, they played against the Knicks last night. Uh, as we know, really close game. So a lot of their guys were pretty taxed in that game, uh, playing big minutes. So I think a road back-to-back, -back, it's a tough spot for the T-Wolves. Hawks, I think, are finally feeling a little bit of momentum, kind of trying to get back to that team that we saw last season, making the Eastern Conference Finals. So I'm going to back them guys on the short money line here, uh, and I think the Hawks will get them tonight. I mean, I'm down to back anyone that just – uh, destroyed my Knicks. Not that it was a not it was a tough game, but well, it just covered my hopes and dreams. You still covered. <laughs> Flop, are you are you taking the Hawks with us? Like I feel like that's the move. No. <laughs> it feels right. It feels yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I can tell you one hundred percent. It's a strong maybe. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. with that being said, yep, real like, strong. You might like the same game parlay that Matt's got cooked up for us. I will throw it over to you for that. All right, guys. So the last two nights, I've just had my heart broken. I, I had a, a five-leg parlay for the legs hit last night. Carl Anthony Towns sold the bag for us. Uh, he just needed like a few more rebounds. The first night was awful. I needed one point from Malik Monk in the fourth quarter, 
and this guy just started bricking everything he, he was throwing up. So tonight's the night. Law of averages say we're due. Uh, so we're going to stick with the Hawks' money line here. Uh, then we're going to go D'Lo over 15 and a half points. Uh, I like that a lot. He, he, he's been pretty consistent around that number. Uh, last night, he wasn't – let me see how many points he had. So, yeah, he had 17 last night. Like, he always kind of sneaks around that number, so I think he'll be able to get it, uh, get it over – Likes to shoot the ball, especially from three. John Collins over 14 and a half. He's averaging like 17 a game. He's been their second best scorer after Trey. I think he'll hit that easy. And then uh, a Kongwu there with under 10 and a half boards. His usage has been down a little bit. He started like four or five games this year, but we haven't really seen him play big minutes in this one. So I'm going to trust here his under on rebound. So it's plus 450 there. So 100 wins you $450. I think we finally get one of these to hit today after a couple heartbreaks the last few days. That doesn't look that bad. Here we go. I mean, the, like, I look at like the uh, the odds first, plus four fifty. I mean, that's yeah. fun, but like, <laughs> I'm saying that's like a you live like ten times. Yeah, it's not. It's not a like, we yeah, need no. we need a you live like once. Once. Like, yeah, I knew this would disappoint you. It, it's not disappointing because I think it's gonna hit. So yeah. at the end of the day, like, how do you get mad? You know, when it's you just hit a plus four fifty parlay. I mean, like, no one's gonna get mad about it. But it doesn't really count as like a, a YOLO part of it. Yeah, I don't think we can count as a YOLO. So like we'll we'll keep the cash, but we just won't count the when it's a YOLO. That's fair, right? Well, when you hear John's odds on this YOLO parlay, I think we'll understand why plus four fifty doesn't do it for him. <laughs> it's a plus fifty five thousand seven hundred and ninety four YOLO parlay. <laughs> this one has to hit over max, right? It just has to. Mm -hmm. It has to. And, hit. And I, I think. I mean, if I could be totally honest. I think this is the one. I think I I think I figured out like how to do this. I, I think I get the right mix. So first, Darius Garland, 12 plus assist, and Cleveland to win. I think Cleveland wins, so that should cover. But the, the 12 assist, it sounds like a lot, right? But he's done this in three of the last four games. In his last five games, he's had like 22 potential assists each game. So that's way – like, 12 is way under that. Like, he, he had an 18 assist game the other night. So, I mean, th that could easily hit. Plus 430, I think that's that's the best place to start this thing. Now, the next one, this is like the, the idiot move right here. Is okay. It's plus 520, but it's not that dumb at the like when you really look into it. Like, immediately when you're looking at that, it says Patty Mills, 20 points. You're like, yeah, no, that's – what, what are you doing? But he's done that in two of the three games, two of his last three games, sorry. Kevin Durant's out. Harden's an assist guy now. Like, we don't even know what we're getting out of Kyrie Irving. All this guy needs, needs to do is get hot, and he can do that. I mean, like, we've seen him do it over and over and over. It's just the only problem is if he's cold, like, you'll watch him, like, miss 10 shots in a row. Like, he'll just keep shooting, which is good for us, but at the same time, you just know, like, yeah, this is bad. But – I think he's worth it. I think the Wizards are good. I think they're going to run up and down the floor. We could see 240 points out of these two teams tonight. We just need 20 out of Patty Mills. So that could happen. All right. And the next one, it's another just that's kind of dumb. Like when you see John Morant, 35 plus points, but plus 440, no Desmond Bain, no Dylan Brooks, and both of those guys just they'll shoot it every time they get it. So it's good that they're not in. They're playing the Bucks. John Morant has kind of been like a big game guy. Like if you go through his um his point totals against the better teams, the Utah Jazz, I'll read it off. He had 32. 33 against the uh, Phoenix Suns. Against the Warriors, he had a 29-point game and a 30-point game. Against the Lakers, he had a 40 and a 41. Even though they're not good, they're 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 supposed to be good. So like that's probably viewed as a big game because LeBron's there. Against the Bucs, I mean, without Bain and Brooks, 35 is really not that crazy for him. So I say throw it in. Then finally, we're going to go to uh, SGA from the Thunder. This is only plus 215, so it's kind of weak. But, I mean, 30 points. It's a pace up spot. So And also, too, it looks crazy because it's 30 points. But they're playing the Spurs. On the road, the Spurs are a pace up spot for him. He does well in those. His last three games, he's gone over 30, or last three road games, he's gone over 30 points. 
I say throw that one in too. Like, why not, right? A hundred will get you fifty-five grand. So I feel like that's a pretty good Wednesday night. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are we all putting a hundred on this? Is that the level of confidence we have, or are we just like splitting a hundred instead? I would go. I'd go as high as a buck. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, that's big. I'm I'm down one dollar from the last Yolo parlay, so it's only up from here. Oh, I can only get better. It can only it can't get worse. It can yep. only get better. Mm-hmm. Now I understand why you didn't like mine. You, that, that, this, this is nothing compared to yours. My my four twenty one or four fifty, whatever it was. Well, those are what's going to keep us being able to bet these, though. That is true. We're, we're going to have to win something at some point, <laughs> so in order to keep betting these. Was so. it okay with first with straight bets in the first episode? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. What did yeah, I we, have? I was like, yeah, what do you mean, really? What, <laughs> what did I have? No, I, I just don't remember what I had. I, I bet it was good, but I'm saying I just don't remember which one it was. The 49ers uh, money line hits, we're really excited about that. I was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. I, I, I gave a stamp of approval, I think, on that. Those are like collab picks. That's pretty much my pick, too. Yeah. Hold on. What was your. You had a prop, but now I can't think of it. It was. Oh, man. I don't know. But it hit. Oh, Christian Wood. It, it won. It was a Christian Wood. Oh, yeah. Wood. Christian yes. Wood. Yeah. It was, and and you, you, did you see how he did that, too? He could have hit that in like the second quarter, but he didn't. He waited until the fourth, like late, too. That, that was way, nice. you know, we get our entertainment he value wanted, out of it. Yeah. yeah, he wanted to make you work for your money. That's no, it, which is all we want. And to be honest with you, I don't want a first quarter hit. Like, what are we supposed to do now? Like, what, do we just go to bed? Well, I prefer to have first quarter hits, but that's just me. So. Yeah, I want to sweat it out a little bit. You know, yeah. give me, like, I'm doing this for entertainment. You know what I mean? Like, it's not something that you want to just, like I said, be done after eight minutes. Like, mm-hmm. now what? That I'm was watching a TV with too. Exactly. Now I'm watching TV with my wife. You know, like against her will, or was she was she down? No, she picks the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like we're like watching Emily in Paris right now on Netflix. I like, love so Emily in Paris. I so. figured you probably would, but I'm sure Matt doesn't. I've never <laughs> seen it, but yeah. Go ahead, hey, don't just skip it. We'll man. give a review of it in our yeah. next episode. That's our yes, whole thing for Friday. Yeah, let me know how it is. As long as you got action, you don't have to watch it. So, well, guys, with yeah. that being said, we are going to close out the show today by announcing the winners from last week giveaway who get to spend some time with both Slop and Matt uh, making some picks, spending $150 on betting. So we're super excited about that. The winners are Nate Soriano and Rob Lewis. So you guys have 48 hours to respond to me on Twitter or Odds Checker US. Make sure you're following us both, and we will get that set up for you. And we will also have another giveaway this Friday. We will make some NFL picks for the divisional round. You guys know? You guys sniffing out anything yet? Or are we? Well, just I got I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> lot I'm of fired stuff. up. I, I've already decided that I'm not going to lose one bet. Okay, uh, we I already like have that. that. Like, I've already one. decided that, but. Yep. Yeah, I can't wait to be honest with you. <laughs> it'll it'll be perfect. Fun. Yeah. All right. For sharp bets today, I am Melissa. This is Matt and Slop, and we wish you guys really great betting slips today. Right? Really, really great hits. Oh yeah. Plus fifty-five thousand. <laughs> That's yeah. the one. <laughs>